thought that today I would film an empties video. Everything is a little bit weird right now. The world is crazy. Lots of things are happening. Everything is anxiety inducing. But I'm at home right now and my empties bin was getting really full so I figured why not share with you guys some of the things that went into my trash. What I thought on them. Whether I'd purchase them. Whether I wouldn't. Why not? I've got nothing but time. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with makeup products which I have very few of even though I felt like I should have a lot. I have a few products that I'm working on that are in like an unofficial project pan, so if, if you're interested in seeing that, let me know that down below. Since pretty much everybody is, you know, self-quarantined right now, I have time to film things. So if you're interested in things, if there's things that you want to see from me, I have a few ideas that I've been floating around actually for the past few weeks that I've been wanting to film and I just haven't had time for. Uh, so now I've got time. So anyway, um, the first thing that I have here is actually not what's in here, so this is the NYX Matte Finish Spray. This I used up a long time ago and it was fine. I actually kept the bottle because I like the sprayer of the bottle a lot better than the Ofra spray that I had. Um, so I had the bottle for the Ofra spray that I got rid of because the sprayer was terrible. This sprayer was a lot better. I don't know that this setting spray really did anything for my makeup. I probably wouldn't repurchase it itself, but I did finish up both this one and the Ofra one that I transferred into here. I have a makeup brush that is past the point of saving, I think. It's time just to get rid of it. This is the, I think it was Diva Beauty B04 Flat Angled Buffer Brush. I bought a bunch of these. They're just like flat top kabuki brushes. I still use a bunch of them, but this one, Feral came off and I've tried to glue it a couple times and it doesn't stay glued, so I figure it's time to get rid of it. But I don't know if this brand is still a brand anymore or not. I bought it online. I'm not 100% sure if it's still a brand or not, but I do like these brushes. Some of them started to fall apart a little bit faster than others, but I still use a lot of them. I have an eyebrow pencil that is actually probably my favorite brow pencil of the last while. This is an Ofra eyebrow pencil. I already bought a replacement, so this is the eyebrow in universal pencil, so it's like a darker brown. I think this is the second one that I've used of this. I got it in an order with something else that I bought from Poshmark, I think. I really like this brow pencil. I feel like it's just waxy enough that it holds my hair down. It matches my eyebrow color really well. I'm a big fan, so I already repurchased and it's not crazy expensive. And it lasted a really, really long time. So definitely a fan of this. Obviously, I repurchased already. I have this Seal Bigelow My Favorite Night Balm, which is an 8-hour recovery balm, it says. I really, really like this. I actually had one of these and I used it up and I think I might have another one somewhere, but I have to look for it. I think I bought this on a two pack on Amazon because I originally got it from Bath and Body Works and then they stopped selling it. But I'm a big fan of this and I feel like this is one of those products where I can put on at night and in the morning I still feel it moisturizing my lips and it's not completely gone, whereas like chapstick or something like that is gone by the morning. I'm a big fan. I'm going to look for my other one of this. If I can't find it, I will probably repurchase it on Amazon because I liked it a lot. I have a few things for hair products. So I have three of these. This is the Schwarzkopf Color Ultimate Flaming Reds 5.28 Cocoa Red Hair Dye. I've got three of them. I didn't realize it's been that long since I filmed an empties video, but apparently it has been because I let my hair go a long time this last time before I dyed it again. So it must have been like November probably since I last filmed an empties video. This hair dye clearly I really really love. I get it at CVS. It's my favorite. I feel like it's a really nice just like reddish brown color so it's not overly red. It's not too dark. It's just I feel like a very natural looking color. I don't feel like it fades crazy fast and it works really well. So obviously I continue to repurchase that. I buy multiples of it every time I buy it just because it is my favorite hair dye and I feel like it works so well. I have the shampoo and conditioner of the Herbal Essences Defined Curls Totally Twisted. I like the smell of this a lot. I know it's kind of a cheap shampoo, but I like the smell of it. I feel like I've been wearing my hair curly a lot more and I've been letting my hair air dry and I've been getting more curls in my hair naturally. Like this side of my hair was never naturally curly, but it's starting to have more tendrils and things like that if I let it air dry. So I like these. I might repurchase them. I'm not crazy, crazy picky on my shampoo and conditioner, but they smelled really good. I have had this for a very, very, very long time. This is the Garnier Fructis Deconstructed Texture Tease Dry Finish, Dry Touch Finish Spray. This I really, really liked. It is just like a texture spray. I had gotten it a long time ago because somebody said it was a dupe for the Oribe Dry Texture Spray or whatever. I liked it a lot, actually. I liked the smell. I feel like it 
worked really well to kind of create like a tousled look. I don't know if they still sell this or not because I've had it for a few years now, but I did like it. I would probably repurchase it if they still had it. All right, next up I have face care products. So the first thing is something that I go to constantly. This is the Biore Nose and Face Pore Cleansing Pore Strips. I like these a lot. I know they're not the best for your skin, but I get really bad blackheads and whiteheads like around my nose. And this is one of the things that can help take care of that. I really like them. The last time I went to buy these though, they didn't have the face strips anymore. I used those for like my chin area down here. They only had the nose strips, which was a little bit irritating, but I will definitely keep repurchasing them. I use them like once every couple of weeks. I don't use them every day or anything like that, but I like them a lot. I do think it helps. A staple at my house that I always have multiple packs of. These are the Peach Slices Acne Spot Dots. I've talked about these a ton. They are basically just these little transparent dots that you put onto any acne or pimples that you have and it helps reduce the size of them or it helps take out pus. I think these are super, super helpful. I've been really bad about picking my skin most of my life, but these help me reduce that temptation to pick up my skin. It helps thing bring things to a head a little bit quicker. Um, especially like those painful under the skin zits. I like these a lot. I get these at CVS and I always stock up on them because they are kind of a necessity for me. They come in three sizes, so there's little small ones, medium sized, and large ones. And I'm glad that they have a variety of sizes because I use all of them at different times. A lot of this stuff is like my go-to stuff. I have several like holy grail favorites in here. Another one that I have here is the Ordinary Buffet Multi-Technology Peptide Serum. I use this every morning. I have another one in my bathroom right now. I like this a lot. It's inexpensive. I feel like it's just nice on my skin. I sometimes use this as kind of the moisturizer step for my skincare, but I am a big fan. I like it a lot. I keep repurchasing it and it's not terribly expensive. Another standard for me is the Body Shop Tea Tree Mattifying Lotion. This is my go-to moisturizer in the mornings. I feel like the tea tree helps keep some of my acne at bay, but also I really just like it because it doesn't get my skin overly greasy and it doesn't break me out. I have another one from Pacifica that I was using that I'm pretty sure breaks me out that I use every so often so it doesn't make my skin super break out. Um, but I bought another one of these and I, my cat is losing his mind in a box if you can hear a rustling in the background. I already purchased another one of these. I've bought tons and tons of these. They are an absolute favorite for me. I like to have this as my main moisturizer. Another Body Shop favorite, this is the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. Uh, this is what I use as my makeup removing step, so it is a cleansing balm. I did a this or that a while back that had a bunch of cleansing butters that I was trying out. I will leave that linked here if you guys are interested. But this one I didn't have at that point and somebody in that video recommended it to me in the comments and I love it. This is my go-to cleansing butter. I use it all the time. I repurchase it. I always wait for a sale from Body Shop and then I buy a couple of them but they are amazing and I love it. It doesn't smell very strongly. It takes all of my makeup off. It doesn't feel greasy on my skin. Fantastic, super inexpensive, highly recommend. I have two proactive products. So I have the Proactive Extra Strength Formula Cleanser and the Proactive Extra Strength Formula Toner. The cleanser is something that I use at night with my Clarisonic most nights. And then the toner I just use every so often. I'm not the biggest fan of the toner. It's fine. It's not something that I feel like I need to have. I don't use the cleanser as much as I used to. The biggest thing that I find is important for me is that I have the toning or that I have the lotion. Um, I feel like that does help keep my acne at bay, but I've kind of stopped using the other products as much. Um, but I've been using these since high school. I get really bad acne. I have very acne prone skin and these help a lot. I also have a Pixi Glow Tonic 5% Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Toner. This I like. It's not something that I feel like I have to have in my rotation. I bought it a couple of times now. I like to have it because I do feel like it makes my skin a little bit more glowy, but it's not something that I feel like I constantly have to have, so it's not something that I'm like repurchasing over and over again. I won't repurchase it probably for a few more months now, but it is nice to have every so often. I have two different things of makeup wipes. I generally don't buy makeup wipes for myself. It's not something that I try to do because I know they're terrible for the environment. I generally use my cleansing butter instead, but I did get these for Christmas and like a grab bag things. These are the Apili Green Tea Cleansing Tissues. These were fine. Um, I mostly use them when I was traveling over Christmas and then I also use them in the mornings just to like clear off my face a little bit before I went to the gym or something, but they're not something that I feel like I would ever need to go out and repurchase. 
And then these I actually like a lot better. These are the Beekman 1802 Facial Cleansing Wipes, and these are in the Vanilla Absolute scent. My mom got these for me. She's a big fan of the Beekman 1802 brand. I like these a lot. They smell really good. I do feel like they're nice on my face. So they're supposed to have pro-vitamin B5, vitamin E, CoQ10, and goat milk in them. I like them a lot. Um, again, these are ones that I generally use in the morning. I would more, be more likely to use these like before I put on my makeup for the day instead of just like before going to the gym or something like that. Um, I don't use them every day, but I do like these a lot. I probably wouldn't go out of my way to purchase them myself, but they're nice. And then I have two Biosense products that I got in like a set. I think this was like a 500 point perk from Sephora. So I have the Squalene Peptide Eye Gel, which I actually really liked. And this lasted a really, really long time for being such a little container. But it did make my eyes look nice. I feel like it's it's supposed to reduce puffiness and dark circles. I don't know that it made a huge, huge difference, but I did like it. And then this is the Squalene and Phyto Retinol Serum. It's supposed to help reduce lines and wrinkles. Again, I don't notice that I don't know that I noticed a huge difference with these. Um, I used this every so often at night. They were both nice. I just don't know that I noticed a huge difference. And I think these are more pricey products that I probably wouldn't go out of my way to spend my money on. All right, next up I've got body care items. So the first thing I have is this Dove Purely Pampering Shea Butter with Warm Vanilla Body Wash. I really like the Dove body washes a lot. They are some of my favorites. I have one going in my shower right now. This one smelled pretty nice and it made my skin feel soft. I would probably repurchase this. I like the Dove stuff quite a bit. The next one that I have is actually a favorite of mine. This is the Jergens BB Body Perfecting Skin Cream. This I usually buy in medium. I don't know that this exists anymore, but I have like another almost full one that I had from a summer or two back. This one I feel like does a really nice job of just like smoothing out the way I only use it on my legs. It smooths out the way my legs look a little bit more. It gives it just a little bit of color and it just makes them look a little bit nicer. I use it a lot in the summer, not so much in the winter or anything else, but it smells pretty decent and I do feel like it kind of enhances your legs and makes them just look a little bit nicer. This was a surprise favorite for me. This I got through Influencer. It's Katy Perry's Indie Perfume. Um, I love this. I like that it's kind of spicy and sweet at the same time. It doesn't smell overly young and it definitely stays on the skin. I will definitely repurchase this at some point, but I have a hard time finding it places. So I need to figure out where I can actually buy it. I like it a lot though. It's great. So a theme of the past few months has been that my hands have been insanely dry the last few months. So I finished up a few things that I used on my hands to try to keep them somewhat moisturized. I have two of these Neutrogena Formula hand creams. These are basically like this thicker ointment type gel almost. I have three more of them in my house right now because that's how dry my hands have been. They've been cracking actually, they've been so dry. So these help a lot. I have another like CVS brand that I tried to buy in hopes that it'd be cheaper and work just as well and it's not great. But this I swear by, my husband loves it as well. This one's great, I keep repurchasing it. I also used up two oils that I had sitting around in my bathroom as like hand oils in an attempt to make my hands less dry. So I used up the Tarte Pure Maracuja Oil, which I've had for a very, very long time. This one has like a little dropper top bottle. Um, it smelled like Play-Doh by the time I finished it, so I don't think it was actually good anymore. And I probably wouldn't have wanted to use it anywhere on my face but it was fine enough for like trying to moisturize my hands. And then I actually use this whey oil in the same way. So it's whey hair care technically, but it's called the Rose Hair and Body Oil. I don't tend to use hair oil very often at all. So this probably would have just sat around in my collection if I didn't use it on my hands. It didn't smell like rose at all and it worked okay for moisturizing. So like, I'm glad I at least used these up somehow, but they're not necessarily probably for their intended purposes, but they were fine. Then I have this Orly Bonder base coat. I've had this for a long time and it's getting to the point where I can't actually get the Bonder out. I don't really paint my nails that much anymore. For a while I went through a phase where I painted my nails constantly, um, but I haven't done it in a while. But this was good. It kept my nail polish on, I think. I don't know. I don't need to repurchase it. I think I have a base coat from HK Girl. Is that the brand? Um, but this was nice. And then lastly, I have a few random like home products. I have the White Barn Heirloom Apple Scented Candle. Apple is one of my favorite scents. I really, really like this one a lot. 
Um, I have quite a few candles that I need to work my way through because I just never have. But this one is one that I like a lot that I tend to rebuy when I do see it. I just like that crisp apple -y scent. Along with that, I used up some wax melts. These are the Sensationals Warm Apple Pie. This one comes from Walmart. I liked it a lot. It was just a very bakery scent. So again, that apple crispness smell, but also like cinnamon almost. I like this a lot. I The Sensationals are some of my favorite wax melts. I don't go to Walmart very often, but I do like their wax melts and I try to check them out when I'm there. I have two hand soaps that I used up. So the first one is the Raw Sugar Simply Hand Wash in Black Mulberry Tea. I really like the Raw Sugar hand soaps. I think I have one in my bathroom right now and one as a backup. Um, I feel like they're nice, they smell good, they don't dry out my hands. I'm a big fan of the Raw Sugar brand. And then I used up, this I actually got for a Christmas present from one of my students. This is the Bath & Body Works Tis the Season, which is a scent of a blend of red apple, clove, cinnamon, ground cinnamon, and clove. Um, which I actually really like the smell of this one a lot. This one wasn't one I was super familiar with, but I did like the scent. I don't feel like this was like amazing at keeping my hands moisturized though. I felt like my hands were a lot more dried out when I was using this, but it did smell really good. I'm glad I had it because then I didn't have to buy more soap for a little while. And then my last empty of this round here is a standby old favorite that I absolutely love. These are the Trader Joe's Stroke Waffles, so they're little Dutch caramel waffle cookies. So good. I really like the Trader Joe's brand. There's another brand that I've gotten at Costco before, like in a big box. Um, these are only around Christmas time, so I got these for my mother-in-law around Christmas time. They're so good. I love them a lot. Um, I can't eat them right now, so I'm doing this 75 hard challenge, which I think I'm going to film a video about sometime in the next week or so. I'm on day 21 of it, um, so I'm not allowing myself to have like sugary treats and things like that. But these are amazing and I like to treat the, myself to them over the Christmas time because they're so good. That is it for what I've used up recently. I feel like that was not as much stuff as I thought it was for how full my empty bin was. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any thoughts on any of the products that I've used up, please let me know that in the comments down below. If you have any video recommendations for things you want to see from me in the next couple weeks while I'm self-quarantined and at home and schools are closed, let me know that as well. I would be happy to film things because I've got time and while there's things that I should be doing and could be doing, this is a welcome distraction for the moment. So I hope it was a welcome distraction for you as well. I hope everybody is well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.